Hello everybody, it's the City Mud Haven here today, and we're going to be taking a look at the T55A with its most recent buff. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. It's nothing super big. It's just a reload from 8.1 to 7.7 .7 and an AP shell penetration from 221 to 238. So that's 238. It does jump it from the fourth worst penetration inside the tier 9 mediums, and it jumps it up like, I want to say like position 8 or 9. It, it's matching the arachnid right now in penetration, but it's nothing too big. Um, over the course of the entire time that I've owned the tank, though, I have managed to maintain a 4,836 W8. Uh, it's only over the course of 30 matches, however, but 70% win rate. So, we'll see how it goes. More than likely, yeah, we're going to go left. Yeah, let's go left. What are we up against? Tier 10s. Yep. Lots of 10s. Lots. Oh yeah, Blade's with me today. Hi. <laughs> okay, um... The Muppet is here. The oh. Muppet is here. You know what? Should we just do like a, a shout out for clan? If people want to join BMOH? Or what? I mean, if, if you guys want to, just um, put in a request. I'll accept it. I'll be checking it every single day for the next week. It's up to be nice to have, you know, more and more people. Yeah, BMO. 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 For whatever reason, I the clan was started whenever the game, like whenever clans were first available. I want to say it's a day one clan. It's either day one or within the first week. Because I can't remember if I had the gold to do it at the time or not. I wasn't even work. I don't even think I was working whenever they came out with clans. I want to say I was still in high school. Okay. Is that a bad chat? I'm a Muppet. Whatever it was, Blade, it's gone. It ran. It hard. did. So, since it ran... Oh, okay. look, there's all kinds of mean and nasty stuff down there. I know, the VK. Um, should be able to get a shot into its turret without much of an issue here. Hey, here's there my problem. Go. Oh, I'm, number one, I'm locked up. Number two... Holy cow, that was a big boom. That was a big I boom. Have, I don't have gun depression. Sounds to me like you need to find it. Wow. I found it. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> that? Alright, I'm gonna need premium for that uh, Death Star. Um, I might be making a mistake. I'm pushing up on a Death Star. I only got two shots left. Two shots is still 800 damage inside that 120, so... Ooh, he fired. Oh, and then he hits me! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I mean, he barely clipped the front of my tank. Are you kidding me? Kill him. I am going to kill him. I'm going to help kill him, too. Swapping shells? That I, I hate the delay. I think if you're within, like, the first portion of your reload, that, um... Oh, he Ow. pulled that off perfectly. You would think that the reload on this would be able to actually... 5.6 seconds? You would think that would actually be fast enough to permadrack, but he might be running toolbox on there. Or, the born leader buff made it to where... Oh, I just realized this. The oh, Maotian has a hatch sorry. that's... Yeah, the maotian has got a 230 hatch. Originally, standards were not able to go through that. Standards just went through his hatch. I like that. I like that they're actually given um, these uh, guns the penetration needed to actually be able to compete against some tier ten, well tier nines and tier tens now. Because you know hatches at 230, they're supposed to be weak spots, not impenetrable. Ow! Mouse gen, quit it! <laughs> quit Come it! On reload. That's not fair. I actually I like three tanks in one clip. That's always nice. <laughs> That's always really nice. Um, I 
to. He really wants to shoot me. You're not the only one who really wants to shoot. I am... I am dying. I mean, I didn't do hardly anything in damage because all my shots were kill shots. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, the Death Star, I'm really surprised. Like, it, so ever since they buffed Born Leader, uh, repair times have been way off. And if, if they took away the capability of being able to permatrack, we're going to have to test that. Because beforehand it was a six second repair time. You know, it, it was about six seconds to be able to repair with track mechanic. We're gonna have to test that out inside of a uh, private match later played. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah. We'll have to give that a shot and see what happens. Yeah, and see if born leader is actually affecting um, track mechanic. Cause track mechanic should not be a skill. That should be a perk. Yeah, yeah three thousand two hundred and fifty-two damage dealt. Sixteen direct hits. I made silver. Um, I only needed to load premium against the opponent that needed it, and that's what's super nice about it. And there's my three kills in one clip. That's all I got, three kills. Yeah. Um, let's jump back <laughs> to Garage. There's one thing that I wanted to double check. Okay. And that's going to be... Uh, German Engineering, a tier not, not medium. Uh, not premium. I don't now own I, the mouse. I only need sixteen. I only need sixteen thousand. It's two hundred and forty, and then two hundred and ten. So yeah, the um, penetration buff that they gave this. It's now able to high roll its penetration to be able to go through the uh, the hatch now. That's really nice to see. Uh, what about the VK? Because originally there were some tier 8s that it would struggle to pin. Yeah. 220. Yeah, so it struggled to pin this with its 221. Um, along that, with that... That VK that pulled up there was sad, man. I hit three shots in it. The guy next to me. 200. <coughs> it's 200 millimeters now. I'm going to have to check out the buff on this thing, because I rem I thought it was 230. Alrighty, let's, let's get a second match inside the T-55A. And I'm only 50,000 XP away from the uh, TBP B50-51. The tier 10? The tier 10, yeah. Yes, yes, TVP. 50-51. I heard that's supposed to be a really good tank. It is. Okay. Huh, what? So, what are we going? We're going to... Um, I have no idea. This match. I mean, because... I'm in an autoloader, man. I don't want to get... You want to get close. You'll be fine. You know what? Let's actually use your autoloader. Let's head left. I love how there's Lord three Maotians on the enemy team. Banana's gonna be um, overwhelmed by heavy armor. Yeah. Yeah, I see a lot of people going there with. This. Yeah. Okay. Let's head almost left. Almost makes me wish I. Almost makes me wish I was in my Type Four heavy right now because yeah. You could do some work in that tank over there. Yeah, nothing really crazy. I put a, I'll put a Type Four heavy against some Austrian. Anyway. You know this buff. I wouldn't really say it's a buff. I'd just say it's um, quality of life for the tank improvement. And there's the tank that just outright. <laughs> <laughs> I got is him. better than the um, T55A. The T64 used to have the same pin at 221 with 330 heat, and yeah, they, they just overkilled it. 264 APC art, yeah, they overkilled that thing. Wow, what is going on this? Oh my gosh! I didn't even get a shot at that one that time. 
No, I don't even know what's behind me. That's a tortoise. Oh my god. Oh. You know what? No, I'm actually just gonna... I'm gonna load standards. I'm reloading. I'm reloading. I'm gonna pull on the tortoise. So by Lee, I can Nine, hit the tracks. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Ah. Uh, okay, we're in their spawn. And I am, I'm struggling to drive now. I don't think the standard's gonna pull on that left. I think he's just gonna run. It, it's 14 to eight, Blade. This is, uh, T-54 got deleted. M-48 Patton got deleted. Um, where's their Martians? They still got two left and they're probably on top of the hill. E-5's on top of the hill. Oh, there's the Martian, full health. It's so bright in this map. I'm reloading again. Hey, I shared and used a repair kit. Oh my god. It's a Turan. I wasn't even paying attention. It's a Turan that's been with us the whole time that's been throwing out this damage. Turans are way too powerful for what they are. Man, I got like three tracking shots. That one bounced. Uh-oh. Oh, nice. This match went way fast. Equalizers. Uh, I wonder, can you survive this? Uh, maybe, maybe, give it a good angle. <gasps> yes. Oh, I should have said his standards. But, oh well. No, that's, um... That's nice. It, it, it's really just a quality of life improvement. I do believe in my review I talked about how the T-54 got the penetration buff. Which made this yep. tank kind of just inferior. In a lot of ways. And... Yeah, it's nice to see that it got a little bit of a buff. And the reload buff. We're gonna have to test out track mechanic now because it should be a perk, not a skill. Um... Yeah. I'll leave a link down in the description with uh, my Aww. T55A review that was like a year ago, but it should still be relevant. Uh, the Death Stalker in 46 pet. Don't buy it. But um, <laughs> no, I I, this is nice. T55A is being brought back up, and for everyone that doesn't know this, they're removing the premiums. They're removing this one from the store. They're removing the 260, the 121B, the M60. There's a there's a list of them that they're removing. They're not being removed permanently. I want to clear that up for everyone that's been wondering that they're not being removed permanently. It is specifically because they're bringing in discounts on free XP and everything else, and they just don't want people to be able to get, like, nine of them for half the price. So if you guys want, whenever you do get your free XP to buy one of the um, Tier 10 Premium Tanks, hold on to it and wait for them to add them back to be able to get them. So you're going to have to be... Uh, what What's the word? You're going to have to restrain from using that free XP. There we go. Yeah, restrain from using it and hold on and save it 
That way you guys can get those tier 10s that you really want to get your hands on that are free XP able, or even if it's some tier 9s. Um, personally, Blade, tier 9s, none of these tanks have any bonuses. Um, I would like yeah, to no. see extra bonuses for the tier 9 premiums added. Like, even if it's like you know, a 10% I mean, increase to crew or, training. Or 25% to silver or no 20%. no i mean just a little bit i mean I, just a little well bit. i'd say temporarily sure a silver bonus on these I mean, tanks would be nice but because i mean on the tier eights we get a 50 to 75 percent bonus i mean why couldn't we have a 20 to 25 percent bonus on tier nine? well no i i just say for these ones uh because over on pc you can earn bonds on each one of your tier nines every single week and hey, on console, we don't have bonds, so like giving these tanks maybe a little bit of an advantage on like crew training would be nice to see. Yeah. So my son told me that this computer that I'm getting, I will be able to play World of Tanks on PC. That's nice. Okay. Other than that, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, it was nice to have Blade here. Uh, but yeah, TV yep, to Five Thanks for having me. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have you every single day. Why is it a thanks? <laughs> I don't know. Well, every it's single nice day that I'm here, on. You know. Yeah. You know, the past, past month I've been working. Yeah, sleeping working all day. Goofy hours. Yep. You're um, on a decent schedule. I might be in Graveyard <laughs> in two weeks. So, be playing during the morning. Alrighty, you guys. Thank you. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, T55A. It's not, not really a buff, just quality of life improvement. It's nice to see that they're bringing up the penetration of some of the lower pin tanks. Um, hopefully they stop bringing up the armor of hatches, because that's just stupid. Other than you probably start seeing it more. <laughs> oh, the T-55A or <laughs> hatch buffs? Yeah. T-55A. Yeah, hopefully. Okay. You guys, <laughs> have a great day. We're out of here. Peace.